Hi, Greg. We're going to talk a little bit today about using student critique in the Industrial Revolutions project. Um, we use the critique a lot in our classroom, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. It's one of our mission values we have on the wall, reflecting and revising for high quality products. We started the year off um, working with our students to develop that, that classroom culture and providing students a lot of kind of low stakes opportunities to critique each other's work. And I think that really helped us um, develop the culture we needed for, to be successful in this project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you want to kind of explain some of the protocols around that? Yeah. When we do critique in our classroom, we've established a, uh, a, a protocol around our, our critique being kind, specific, and helpful. Um, our goal is always to improve student work and give many students voice by sharing the air. We have a lot of students who are very passionate, but we also have students who have a lot of um, good things to say and we want to make sure many voices are heard. Um, we also make sure that we give, um, we have adequate time given to students presenting and students getting feedback. So we use a couple of different protocols so students can share and give, uh, share their products but also give feedback. And I think that really helped us move into the Industrial Revolutions project. Uh, yeah, I definitely agree, especially um, when it comes to uh, the detail-oriented nature of creating a, a website with all the technology, but probably most importantly in rehearsing for the culminating event, the Shark Take panel. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree with you. We used a protocol to help students um, work through uh, their rough draft uh, websites and presentations. Um, I think our rubric really, developing a rubric for students to work from really helped. Yeah, establishing those expectations beforehand and um, showing the students through modeling and examples and the details on the rubric what exceeds, what meets, and what might need some, some growth uh, really definitely helped. I remember uh, one of our students, when he went through his first practice run through, scored low on the rubric, got very frustrated, but uh, spent the rest of the period revising, and by the time of the actual presentation, he knocked it out of the park. So those rubrics definitely helped. Absolutely, and I think students uh, critiquing each other using that rubric helps them become um, an expert on, on what is expected in that project, and their final projects are higher quality. We saw a lot of students revising their work um, and I think better prepared to answer some really tough questions come our final presentation. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks.